Okay, here are a couple of additional examples of limit problems that we will solve with L'Hopital's rule. So example two, the limit as x approaches zero of four x minus sine of x over x. And you can see that if we just substitute zero in here, we get four times zero minus the sine of zero, which is zero, over zero. So that works out to zero over zero. And that's an indeterminate form. So we can't evaluate it by simple substitution, nor can we just cancel out this x. So L'Hopital's rule says that this limit will be equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. So let's take the derivative of the numerator. We do that term by term. So that's just 4 minus the cosine of x over the derivative of the denominator, which is just 1. And we can evaluate this by putting an x value of 0 in for the variable. So this works out to just be 4 minus the cosine of 0, which is 1, over 1, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So we get an answer. The limit as x approaches 0 of the original function is 3. Now before we leave this problem, let's actually look at this on a calculator. I'm going to graph the original function. So in the calculator, I'll put in parentheses, and you need those parentheses, 4x minus sine x, and then close parentheses, close parentheses, over x. And uh, let's make sure we're in, in um, radian mode. So let's quit there. And uh, we need to be in, in assume, assume radian mode, unless otherwise told. And let's just go to standard zoom setting. And... Um, there's the function. Okay, how about that? Okay, let's try zoom trig, uh, option 7, which zooms us in a little bit. And there we go. Okay, now look. The function does look like it goes across the y-axis at x equals 3. And if we hit trace and move around there, you can see that near x equals 0, and that's what we're doing. We're taking the limit as x approaches 0. We're close to 3. Now, if we go right to x value of 0, there is no y value. The function is undefined. I'm going to zoom back to a standard zoom setting here. Um, and go back, to, go back to trace. At x equals 0, there is no y value. If we go near 0, we're near 3. See that? Look at that. If we do 0 0.001 for x, we're really close to 3. But... At 0, there is no y value, but you can see on the graph, and by exploring um, some different x values, you can see near x equals 0, we really are close to a y value of 3. So graphically, we see the same answer that we get when we apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay, here's another example. The limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus the square root of x plus 1 over x. And you can see that if we try to substitute in a value of 0 for x, we get 1 minus the square root of 0 plus 1, which is 1, over 0. And that's 0 over 0, an indeterminate form. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule. And we can take the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. So let's take the derivative of each of these. So L'Hopital says that this will equal the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator, which we can do term by term. The derivative of 1 is just 0. And then we'll have minus the derivative of this term. And I'm going to think of that uh, x plus 1 under the radical as x plus 1 to the power of 1 half. And so to take the derivative of that, we can use the power rule and so that would be 1 half x plus 1 to the power of negative 1 half divided by, all that divided by the derivative of the denominator, which is just 1. So let's rewrite this. This will be the limit as x approaches 0. And this 2 right here is in the denominator. And this, this expression here with a negative exponent 
that can be put in the denominator also. So we just have a negative 1 in the numerator, and in the denominator we have uh, the 2 and the square root of x plus 1. And this we can evaluate as x approaches 0. Just put an x value of 0 in for x. And now this expression evaluates with a simple substitution. So this is negative 1 over 2 times the square root of 1, 0 plus 1. So that's just negative 1 half. We have an answer.